What's up my people and welcome to Tech Ed this year 2021 we have amazing things lined up for you guys i want to take this moment to appreciate all the support that you gave us in 2020 for all the guys who you know became a part of the family for all the guys who became a part of the winners some of the things that we were giving away congratulations to you and thank you for being team taken now this year we have amazing things lined up for you and what a way to start out the year with amazing news about the Exynos launch. Now, let me tell you why I'm hyped about, about this event. I've been daily driving the Note 20 Ultra for quite some time and I love this beast. But one of the things that I always cringe is to remember that the, ex, the, the, the phone that I use uses the Exynos processor but all some other parts of the globe like the us china and korea they get the snapdragon variant now if you are an avid follower of tech like me or you know you take some research into uh the phone you want to buy next you must come uh, you must at one point in time come to this news and to understand that the exynos processor performed under was inferior to the snapdragon processor so you get the same phone literally the the the, the note 20 the s20 but as long as you got it in a certain market you'll be getting an inferior processor now one of the things that i love is that exynos actually listened and they actually did that in this trailer that they do where they talk about some of the things that us the fans related back to them and i'm happy because when they listened to us, they were able to make something that really is going to really astound us. Now, this is the first time in a very long time that Samsung actually holds a launch event for its flagship process. It's been long since they did that. So that means they were really working and gearing up for this new processor. So this is the Exynos 2100. The Exynos 1080, which people thought was the flagship processor, the Exynos 1080 is actually going to be the mid-range processor. And the Exynos 1080 was performing in the same level as last year's Snapdragon 865. So guys were excited to get to see what this year would hold for us. So after Qualcomm launched their Snapdragon 888 processor last year, you know, this team at Exynos were playing cryptic with us, sending cryptic messages. You know, they, they began with the Exynos uh, trailer and and after that, they made the announcement yesterday about their new processor. I'm so excited because this means we're going to see a change in some of the phones we get, especially in the African market, that come with this in inbuilt Samsung Exynos processors. Now, let me explain this. When Samsung makes their high-end phones, they make them with two processors. So the one that goes over to US, China, and Korea get the Snapdragon variant. The ones that come over to Africa, Europe, Middle East, come with the Exynos, is Samsung's in-house processor, that's the Exynos. Now, for a very long time, the Exynos has been subpar to the Qualcomm, but this is about to change, especially with the Exynos 2100. So we're talking about a tri-cluster architecture for the CPU. So the CPU itself is a great game. They ditched their custom Mongoose cores and they adopted ARM, ARM's cores. So we're talking about the ARM Cortex-X1 chipset that goes all the way to 2.9 gigahertz. We're talking about three Cortex-A78 chipsets and uh, four Cortex-A55. So for your uh, low-performing task, you have the, the, the quad-core a55 for your high performing task you have your cortex x1 chipset and just right there in the middle of the soft spot is the cortex a71 a78 chipsets now this is the same uh cluster that has the snapdragon 888 so we are hoping and believing that it's gonna be if not a sub if not the same par level performance with the the snapdragon at least better performance and with some of the uh, with some of the trailers and some of the teasers that Samsung has, has been putting out there, this is getting up to be their best processor yet. It boasts about 33% better performance from last year's Exynos 990. When you go over to graphics, they have Mali's G78 processor, and we're talking about 40%, up to 40% increase from last year's. This already in itself is a reason to move from the S20 from the Note 20 to the S21 because you're talking about a leap in performance. 
The graphics performance, one of the things that they did is that Amigo, and that is the advanced multi-processing, uh, so that it helps balance between power consumption and processing. So that's one of the things that we have to understand because ideally it makes sense, the more, uh, the more power you require in terms of processing, the more power you will drain from battery. But this Exynos 2100 boasts 10% increase in performance, but 20% decrease in power consumption. So you're talking about having better battery life with the Exynos 2100. That's something in itself to rejoice about. Let's talk about AI. The AI in the MPU is able to do 26 trillion operations per second. That's a leap in itself from what last year I was able to do. So in the in the in the AI, the processor where the NPU is, it boasts of three NPUs. So together they're able to do to calculate 26 trillion operations per second. So we're talking about better machine learning, better processing in terms of images. Now when you talk about images, this Exynos 2100 is capable to support one 200 megapixel camera. So that's really a, a step up. So uh, it's about time to, for us to begin to see 200, 200 megapixel cameras. The camera on the Note 20 the, and that was on the S20 Ultra was an 108 megapixel. But with this, we are able to see support for up to 200 megapixels. We're talking about, it's capable to support six cameras and recording from four multiple cameras at the same time. So you're talking about, you can record from your wide, ultra wide, and, uh, uh, and uh, t telephoto all at the same time with what we are hoping will come on the S21 is the director's view. So you're able to record from multi cameras at the same time. So this is quite a leap. And I am so excited to see what this is able to do. So that's over on the camera side. When you go over to the video side, it's able to shoot 8K video at 30 frames per second. It's also able to decode or you're able to view 8K video at 60 frames per second. So recording is up to 30 frames, but playback is up to 60 frames per second. It has support for 144 hertz so you have a faster refresh rate display that's what you have with the exynos 2100 and it has support for wide quad hd at 120 hertz so you're talking about enjoying great performance now has support for hdr 10 plus with 4K uh, res and 8K TV out. So these are some of the great things that you're able to enjoy on this. And it has LPDDR5 RAM. So this is amazing. Now, I've spoken a lot of specs and some of you guys will be like, yeah, now what does that really mean for me? This is what it means. Especially for us who live in Kenya and East Africa and Africa, we are gonna be getting a superior phone. So, Gone are the days where when you go into a shop, and I met quite a couple of people who are going in to buy a phone and they're like, uh, is it the Exynos variant or the Snapdragon variant because it's overheating? I'm glad because with Exynos 2100, those are going to be things of the past. So, welcome into a new era where you don't get a sub -power phone. Paying the same price but getting a super phone. No, gone are those days. Now, whatever you're gonna pay for, you're gonna be getting exactly that ultra high end performance. So, this in, in it for me is a reason to look out for the S21. Let me tell you, one of the great reasons why Nilikwanangoja S21 is not the fact that it's gonna be a good phone. No, it's the fact that it's gonna be coming with the Exynos 2100. So, congratulations to you guys. At Samsung Exynos, I'm, I was really, you know, I as a Samsung user at one point in time really felt that pinch in having a sub power phone. But I'm glad that with 2021, I get to experience great performance without having to worry about which variant I actually get. So I'm waiting for the S21 launch. But let me tell you, the Exynos 2100 is something to really look out for. It's enough from us, guys. Now before we finish, I have to mention something that they actually said in this video that the next flagship that they are working on will come with the graphics from the guys over at AMD. So we are talking about the next phone will actually be an upgrade over this. So pretty much great things that are lined up for us by the Exynos team. And I'm happy because we live in a day and a time where we get to experience these things. 
So it's enough from us, guys. It's Willy. Make sure you stay tech to follow us on all our platforms, Tech and Africa, Facebook, YouTube, and, uh, and Twitter. Follow me, Willie Professor, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And let's make sure that you get teched. See you. Bye-bye.